Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate your self-employed national insurance in the UK. There are two types of national insurance if you're self-employed. Firstly, class 2, which applies if you're earning annual profits between £6,475 and £9,500. The second type is class 4, which applies if your profits exceed £9,500. If you're in class 2, then your national insurance payment is £158.60. If, however, you're in class 4, then you pay 9% on profits between £9,501 and £50,000, and 2% on profits above £50,000. What we want to do in this video is create a calculator which allows you to see how changes in your annual profits impact your annual and monthly national insurance payments, so that if we change this figure over here, these figures update accordingly. We will start by identifying the national insurance class based on a given annual profit figure. To do this, we need to pre-fill this table over here with the annual profit thresholds and the classes that they correspond to, so that we can later use the VLOOKUP function to return the appropriate class. So firstly, we have an annual profit of zero. Since class two only applies if your profits are between 6,475 and 9,500, this means that if your annual profit is below 6,475, then you don't pay any national insurance. So we can write no class. The next threshold is 6,475. This is the lower boundary of class two, so we can type class two. Next, we have 9,501, which is the lower boundary of class four national insurance. So we type class four. Now to determine the national insurance class of this annual profit here, we can use the VLOOKUP function. So we type equals VLOOKUP. We first enter the lookup value, which is the annual profit, followed by the table array, which is the table we made earlier. Next, we can type two, as we want to retrieve the value in the second column, which corresponds to the class. Finally, we type true, as we want an approximate match. In other words, we want Excel to look up the closest value below the annual profit figure. As you can see, Excel has retrieved class 4 since an annual profit of 10,000 is greater than the class 4 lower threshold of 9,501. If we change the annual profit to 7,000, Excel retrieves class 2 since this is between 6,475 and 9,500. And if we finally change the annual profit to 3,000, which is below 6,475, Excel returns no class. Next, we need to calculate the national insurance payments for each class. As a reminder, if your profits are below 6,475 pounds, then you don't have to pay any national insurance. And if you're in class two, you pay 158.60 pounds, regardless of your profits. If, however, your profits are greater than £9,500, and therefore you're in class 4, things get a bit more complicated. So let's create a table to allow us to calculate the class 4 payments. This table will consist of our annual profits, the insurance payable, and the national insurance rates. The lower annual profit thresholds for class 4 are £9,500 and £50,000. We can then add the two national insurance rates for class 4, which are 9% and 2%. The insurance payable when the annual profit is £9,500 is £158.60, as a profit of £9,500 is still in class 2. If, however, the annual profit is £50,000, then the insurance payable is the insurance payable in the previous threshold, plus the difference between the annual profits in the current and previous threshold, multiplied by the applicable national insurance rate, which is 9% on profits between 9,501 and 50,000. Now that our table is ready, we can calculate the national insurance payments for a given annual profit. The payment for class four profits is the amount payable in the previous band, plus the rate of the current band, multiplied by the amount payable in the current band. 
Let's start by changing our annual profit to a figure above 9,501. To calculate the amounts payable in the previous band, we can use VLOOKUP. So we're looking up the annual profits within the class 4 table, and we're looking to retrieve the insurance payable, which is in the second column, so we type 2. And finally, we type TRUE, as we want an approximate match. Excel has retrieved this figure, which is indeed the insurance payable in the lower band. To calculate the rate of the current band, we again use VLOOKUP. The only difference now is that we're looking to retrieve the value in the third column instead of the second column. Since our annual profit of £100,000 is above £50,000, Excel has retrieved the corresponding rate of 2%. Finally, to calculate the amount payable in the current band, we need to find the difference between £100,000 and £50,000, which is the annual profit in the previous threshold. So we take our annual profit and then use the VLOOKUP function to find the annual profit in the previous threshold. Excel has retrieved £50,000, which is indeed £100,000 minus £50,000. Now let's check whether these calculations work if we change our annual profit figure. The amount payable in the previous band is indeed £158.60. The rate of the current band is 9%, as our profit is between £9,501 and £50,000. And the amount payable in the current band is £20,500, which is the same as 30000 minus 9500 We can now make a table which contains the national insurance payments in each band. We have the following classes. The corresponding payments are 0 and 158.60 for the first two classes. For class 4, the national insurance payment is the amount payable in the previous band, plus the rate of the current band, multiplied by the amount payable in the current band. Finally, we can use VLOOKUP to determine the appropriate national insurance payment for our annual profits based on the class that it is in. Therefore, since a profit of £30,000 is in class 4, Excel has retrieved the payment which corresponds to class 4. If we change the annual profit to £8,000, which is in class 2, Excel retrieves 15860 which is the class 2 payment. The reason the class 4 payment is now NA is because these VLOOKUP calculations only work for profits above £9,500 due to the nature of the approximate match. As soon as we change the annual profit back to a value above 9,500, the NA values disappear. Finally, to calculate the monthly national insurance payments, we can simply take the annual payments and divide it by 12. So that's how you can calculate your self-employed national insurance payments in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.